All right, coming up after the break, we catch up with former Giants running back David Wilson, who's now trying to make his way to the Olympics in track and field. Well, that's now former Giants running back David Wilson, who, of course, had to retire last year because of spinal stenosis, uh, a narrowing of the spine. You embarked on a new career, uh, made your professional debut in track and field yesterday with a dream, of course, of making the 2016 Olympic team and the triple jump. David, welcome. You didn't fare that great yesterday, but you had a great day today? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. I went back out there and changed up uh, you know, my approach with my coach, and, uh, you know, I went five more feet. Uh, I think that's the math. 52 feet. Wow. Uh, that, from, so from you went from 12 yesterday. steps to eight steps, and that made all the difference in the yeah, world? Yeah, because it, it made that big of a difference because the force right. that I was putting on my body, the speed that I was gaining at 12 steps, my body couldn't handle it because the muscle memory isn't there. This is my first track man. I haven't jumped in four years. Uh, no, five years. So that was the first time yesterday that I ever jumped. Since wow. I played football in right. the NFL. Since the 2011 NCAA championships. Yeah. You battled the, uh, the neck injury, and then uh, they tell you that, uh, hey, David, you, you, have to, uh, you have to retire here. What was it like when you got that news? My mind went straight to what's next. What can I yeah. be great at next? Just thought what I was good at, and then I thought about track and field. I was a national champion in high school twice, and then I also was All-American in college, and this was times where I couldn't practice. Or, or perfect that craft because I was totally giving my devotion to football and that was my love and uh, you know when I make track my love I feel like I could compete at a high level and, and be at the Olympics we see one day I jumped 48 feet the next day right. I went second place at 52 feet what, what's the hardest thing uh, right now is it the technique or you also weighed in at about 220 when you played a uh, uh, football yeah, and now you weigh yeah I was 210 when I was playing for the Giants and now I'm 189 and, and you still want to lose more weight. Yeah, because I'm still 25 pounds heavier than the heaviest jumper Wow. that's competing now. Uh, so, uh, you know, I definitely have a football frame still. You have eyes on uh, the 2016 games in Brazil, right? Yes, Rio. Okay. So, uh, like I said, that's a year from now to qualify for that. You do that at the Olympic trials in 2016. So all the meets leading up to that mean really nothing to me. Right. It's just practice make perfect. Those right. are... The meets I'm gonna use for practice, and I'm gonna be competitive, and you know, get gain experience. And when the Olympic trials come, I, I put it all on the plate, and hopefully, I've done all the right things up to that point to lead me to Rio. <laughs> Congratulations! Yeah. Uh, and uh, Mets uh, David Wright, obviously, he suffers from spinal sp stenosis too. I realize baseball is a completely different sport, but what advice would you give David uh, in dealing with this? It's hard to give him advice other than just you know listen to the doctors and, and rehab. I can't really speak on his injury because from other people I received that this is a very painful, like strenuous injury, and I didn't feel any of that. I yeah. felt no pain. You don't feel anything and now. The doctors denied me because of a picture. Right. Uh, and they informed me the risk that I had, and it, it was all based off a picture, no pain, other than the 30 seconds of numbness that I went through. Uh, so. And no pain now whatsoever. None whatsoever. And when people say that is so painful, I'm thinking, like, this must not be the same injury, or maybe right. you had something else different. Yeah, on Friday, June 26th, you'll be playing yet another sport here, softball, all for a good cause, the first annual St. Jude Celebrity Softball Game at Provident Bank Park in Panoma, Panoma New York. Tell us about that. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, excited about that and getting together with some former teammates and some New York Jets and other celebrities, and we're going to go out there and, and use our gifts to, uh, you know, raise money for these kids in St. Jude's Hospital. It'll be cool if you can come out there and play with us. You're a competitive guy. <laughs> You're pretty athletic fit. You might as well come out and uh, help support Give it the to cause. me play softball. <laughs> 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 it's, it's, more about, it's more about the experience and having a good time when we come out there. Of course, we will tease you if you strike out. Um, <laughs> but other than that, it's, it's just to raise money for the kids. And anytime I think you, you, you can step out and, you know, help, somebody in a, in a good cause and a good form is, is a positive thing. So uh, we look forward to, you know, taking place in that game on June 26th. David Wilson, we appreciate it. We hope to see you at the Olympic Games in uh, 2016. Yeah, sure. Thank you.